Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we will be making Crock Pot Cherry Cobbler. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Wow. Now that's Cherry Cobbler, y'all. Mm-hmm. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And today we're gonna cook up another dish from RecipesThatCrock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog, and today we're gonna be making Crock-Pot Cherry Cobbler. This is like, there's, there's, there's complicated recipes. There's, uh, this could be a little difficult recipes. There's easy recipes. And then there's this. And then there's Cherry Cobbler. <laughs> and it's good. It's really good. I'll take this from a dude who really is not a big cooked cherry fan. Mm -hmm. I love raw cherries. I love the, the bing cherries you know like you get in the store but like you give me pie filling cherries I'm like I'm gonna take it or leave it kind of guy until y'all made this one and I'm gonna take it kind of guy <laughs> so Lou take it away girl what do you need we need two cans of cherry pie filling right there we need a cup and a third of oats a cup of packed brown sugar and two-thirds of a cup of Bisquick or baking. Yeah, some kind of a bacon mix. mix. Uh, if you want to, well, you can't really make this low carb because all the cherries and stuff and the brown sugar, but just think of some kind of Bisquick. Yeah. I mean, really, that's what everybody uses. So, Bisquick. Bisquick. Uh, I'm, I'm just ready. Now, these, these oats are the old fashioned the oats. Old fashioned oats. Yep. So, like, so the not big the quick cook, not the still. I guess you call it a tube thing, a can, canister. Canister. Yeah, you know, like you see with a big old Quaker dude on there. It looks like George mm -hmm. Washington was in George Washington because George Washington wasn't a Quaker. Was George Washington a Quaker? I'm not up on his. He was a mover and a shaker, but I don't think he was a Quaker. All right, so while wow. Lou was doing her part, I'll do my part. What's your part? My part. I'm going to spray this if there's enough. There should be just. Ooh, you know. Maybe. We're going to keep it vertical. There you go. We're going vertical. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Kind of like Top Gun. Top Gun 2 is coming out. Anybody excited? I am. I am. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pour this. I'm going to take this. Maybe. <laughs> and I'm going to take like this. Look, it's like a, um, a what? Um, DQ. What are they called? A that? blizzard. A blizzard. Ooh, cherry blizzard sounds good. Ooh. All she's doing is go spread that down in there. Stop spreading them. And while she's doing that, I've got those other three ingredients. All my dry ingredients, I've got them in a bowl and I'm just mixing them up. It's really that complicated. Okay, I want to get all the cherry goodness yes. in here. Because so. what you don't, I'm licking that can. <laughs> so Probably bad. not the best thing to do because it might cut my tongue, but I'm I've done worse to myself. Probably today. <laughs> Addie and I were just talking yesterday. She's like, what's the worst injury you've ever had? And every one of them I thought it was my own darn fault. <laughs> and that's it. I just got all this mixed up. If you look at the dry here, just kind of get it all mixed up where the brown sugar meets the bisquick that meets the oats. Just like that. Just mix it up real good. And that is your an topping party. Mm -hmm. and what Hey, I got done first. Yeah, I know. I win. <laughs> um, oh, one of the great things about this mm -hmm. is like it kind of has almost a crumb like topping, but you don't have to cut butter because, well, I'm horrible at cutting butter. Yeah, so, that's one thing when I was looking at this recipe, I noticed there was no butter in it. Yeah. But I like, thought, that's weird. But the, what makes the binder on this crust, if you want to call it this, it's not a crumble because you're not crumbling up because no butter. But what's going to bind this is that brown sugar is going to start to melt. Mm -hmm. And when it does, it makes that crust over the top of this cherry cobbler. Okay. And I will come through here. And then if you want to grab that camera, mm -hmm. all you do is sprinkle it evenly over the top. Try to get all them cherries covered up. Try to make sure you get it in your slow cooker. Or on the counter. Or on the counter. You know I'll clean that up later. Mm, you mean me. And then I will take my clean hands and I will spread oh, do you want more? that over the top. Yeah, make it nice and even. Just like that. It will um, kind of bubble up around the edges so you just want to get it right there at the edge and then we'll do this and this and <laughs> there you go that's it now take my lid put on the top and this goes on low for 
four to six hours. Or we're going to try doing this on high for two to three. You want to keep an eye on it. You don't want to burn it, of course. Um, and then we're going to show you. If you want the top to be a little bit crisper, then you can remove mm -hmm. the lid for the last half hour of cooking. Yes. Or you can also slide it underneath the broiler. Mm -hmm. What that's going to do, when, when we say it's going to crisp up, you take the lid off, that removes the moisture. Mm -hmm. The moisture is going to come out of there, and all that sugar is going to start to dry out, and that's what's going to make it crumbly. Mm -hmm. You can also take this underneath the broiler if you want to and make it even a little brown. Ooh, put a little, spread a little butter on top of it and make it a little butter. I'm just getting hungry thinking of ideas. Here's <laughs> what we're going to do. We're going to show you what it looks like when it's done in three, two, one. And our cherries are done. We put this one on high, and it went for an hour and a half, and then we took the lid off. I got the lid on now just for those pretty presentation purposes, mm -hmm. y'all, you know, the big reveal. But for the last half hour, we pulled the lid off mm -hmm. and let it kind of harden up on top, you know, crisp up because you've got that bubbly brown sugar that's mixed in now with all them cherry juices and mm -hmm. cherry pie filling and everything. And so when you pull the lid off, all the moisture leaves and it hardens up like sugar does. And when you get done, you get... Da, 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 cherry cobbler just like that. Now, if you look on the top, you're like, well, that's not done. Yeah, it is, because that is what brown sugar is going to do. If you want to take it a step further and you don't trust me, you can always pop that in there under the broiler for just a couple minutes if you want to get that, mm, that brown uh, caramelized brown uh -huh. sugar thing, which I'm not going to fault you if you do. But you know what? I don't care what you do. I want some cherry cobbler. So, are you a corner person or are you a middle person? I am more of a corner person. All right, my girl, same here. We're going to do this in there. And it's not going to be like your traditional cobbler with the crust on the bottom and everything. It's going to be more, not, I don't want to say soupy is not the no, word. No, soupy is not the word, but it's, um, it's not as firm. Soft. There you go. It's soft. Yeah. Kind of like me in the middle. I'm a little firm, but I'm a little soft. <laughs> Kind of like my head. It's a little firm and it's a little soft. But the best part is, is taking a little bit of ice cream and putting it right on top of that cherry cobbler. Let look at that. Melt down in there with it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Now that's cherry cobbler, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, we can look at it all day. I want to eat some. I'm ready. Some. Grab. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? I just want to blare some warrant in the background. <laughs> Wait, that's cherry pie. Never mind. <laughs> gotta get some of the topping, mm. some of the icy, or the icing, the ice cream. The ice cream fell off. Ooh. Oh my mm. goodness. Mm. Y'all remember how I said I'm not a big fan of cooked cherries? Well, shut my mouth. Because <laughs> I'm a fan of this. This is so good. Y'all want a bite? Here he comes. So, got a little bit of cherry. Of course, those oats give it a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a crust, you know, and of course we got that ice cream on top. Mmm. Mm. It reminds me more of a cherry crumble using those quick cut or those uh, old fashioned oats like mm -hmm. that. It's really, really rich. It's really sweet. Mm -hmm. So, the ice cream is good with it. Be good with a big old glass of milk or maybe even a cup of coffee. Mm. Or if we got any Irish people watching, I'd go good with a cup of tea. <laughs> mm. Yeah. This is like a perfect sweet treat. Super easy. This would be great if you um, have a potluck you're going to and you need to bring in dessert. It's not going to take you a lot of time. No, and throw that are baby going together. To love it. There won't, you won't be bringing any home. Mm. 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 Ow! It's hot, Mikey. Mm hmm. Oh, it's worth yeah. it. That's worth the pain. I love it with the ice cream because that vanilla just gets in there with it and it just... Oh, that cools it, it off so of that? A little bit whenever eating it straight out of a hot now, slow cooker. You might give it a little time to cool off. <laughs> and I would say that if you let, as you let that cool, it's going to set up even more too. So mm -hmm. Well, they always do. It might not drip on your hands and bib like that. Hey, or... hey Mikey, you got something right there. <laughs> if you like what you're seeing here, Give us one of these. A little thumbs up down below. If you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, we don't know what you're waiting on. And we're giving you a formal invitation to do so. And to do so, all you need to do is click that little button down below that says subscribe. And hey, Mikey, hey. can you spell subscribe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can click it all day long. You only got to do it once. 
Right next to that subscribe button is a little bell we call the Dingling. We also named it Aunt Lou in honor of her, but anyway, ah. click that dingling and you will know as soon as we put up a new video. And most important, y'all, whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye. Bye, y'all. This is Cheese my cherry pie. Cobbler. <laughs> smells good. Three. Two. There it is. Oh, smells good. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the page.